This is the Dremel 4486 keyless check. The keyless check is attached at the front of the Dremel and replaces the collet and collet nut. The big advantage of the keyless check is that it can use all bits that are smaller than 1 8 of an inch. So we no longer need to search for the right size collet for those bits that has a smaller shank size. To attach the keyless check to our Dremel, we press down the shaft lock button and simply screw on the keyless check. After screwing for a while, the teeth of the check will start closing. We want the hole in the center to be just a little bit bigger than the shank of the bit. So if we are using a 1 8 inch bit, I'm going to leave it like this. Insert the bit and tighten the check. If we are using a tiny drill bit, we want to make the hole really small before inserting the bit. This will help it to properly center itself. Or this will happen. Tightening the keyless check by hand is usually good enough to secure the bit. But if you need to tighten it more or a bit gets stuck, you can use the wrench under here to get some more leverage. I use my keyless check all the time. It is invaluable when making homemade bits with odd size shanks. When doing a lot of drilling, the keyless check also comes in handy. In this drill bit set, there are seven different shank sizes, but usually we only have four different collet sizes, which can make it hard to find the right collet for each drill bit. But the keyless check can take them all. Even though the keyless check is a good attachment, it is not without its problems. While using the keyless check, dust has a tendency to collect behind the check teeth and inside the check. Too much dust will make it harder for the teeth to go all the way back to fit the 1 8 inch bit. The check might also rust if it sits for too long without being used. If this happens, we need to clean the dust and the rust as best as we can. First off, we can bang the attachment on the table to remove some of the dust. If you have an air compressor, use that to blow it out. Get something tiny but stiff and try to remove some of the dust and dirt that sits behind the check teeth. I'm using a 0.8 millimeter drill bit, but you can also use a needle. If there is some rust, use some WD-40 and open and close the check to lubricate it. Dry it off with some paper and now the 1 8 inch bit should go in with no problem. 